Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. In this particular playlist, we are covering few important topics. Those are relevant to ComSol Multiphysics Simulation. Today's topic is very much interesting because today we are going to tell you how to use an image as a function in ComSol Multiphysics. So we will be taking a particular image and we will be using it as a function, a 2D function. A 2D function means it has two independent variables, say x and y that is two Cartesian coordinate variables. So without any further delay, let us go to the console interface. We are taking 2D for the purposes of this learning. We take heat transfer in solids. I'll explain you in detail why am I taking heat transfer. In study, we take time dependent and click on done. It will be leading to the main console window as you have already aware of. Now under this section definition, if you right click, you get functions and in the functions you get an option that is image. You click on it. If you click on it, you will be seeing that in the setting window, you have an option of browse. So you can actually upload the desired image and then do the post processing. What post processing will be doing that we will be covering step by step so that you understand it in a better way. So I have taken two images. So one is our pioneer of success image and another is IIT Guwahati logo. So my alma mater and that's why I have taken this image. So let's just import the image. So I click on the option browse. I go to initially let us take the IIT Guwahati logo and I click on plot. Yeah, you can see it has come. So this is the IIT Guwahati logo. So we are, we are going to do something with it. Let me uh, import another image also. I click on definitions and go to image again. Let us put the pioneer of success. This is POS image. I click on plot. Yeah, so this is the pioneer of success image. So we have imported two images and we'll be working with both the images. But before I go to the console discussion, let me tell you what does an image stand for. Actually, in image you have several pixels. So this entire image is divided into various pixels and each pixel bears three values. One is R, G and B. If it is a color image, then you have three values. So in a layman language, if I if I consider any point on this image, say this particular point where my cursor is located. So at this point, I mean the point is defined by three values. It has one R value, one G value and one B value. And if it would have been a grayscale image, that is a black and white image, every point has a single value that is that is ranging from 0 to 255 0 is the minimum value and 255 is the highest value so for rgb also it has 0 to 255 value if if r is equal to 255 that means it is red if r is 0 that means it do not it does not have any reddish nature so this is the very basic thing i'll be covering an image analysis uh, playlist as well for the researchers. I will, I will not be going into details of image analysis, but we are thinking of making a course on image analysis, biomedical image analysis that is relevant to research. So uh, I am not going into that details. Let's talk about today's topic. So now what I have taken is I have taken heat transfer in solids. Before that, I just make a particular geometry. So you can see one thing, the image has dimension one by one. Now how to change this dimension, I'll be talking about it in a separate video because it needs a follow up video for particular understanding. Today I'll be just discussing about the usage and then in another video I'll be talking about the minute details. So it is spanning one, zero to one in the y direction and 0 to 1 in the x direction. For image 1 also, it will be same. This is your image 1, IIT Guwahati logo. So it is also 0 to 1 and 0 to 1. Now, 
I want to solve a heat transfer in solid problem and for that let us take a geometry say a square of 1 by 1 meter itself I created this geometry then let me take a material so for that what I do I go to add material from the recent material if I get copper yes copper is there so I choose copper say this material is copper so heat will be flowing through copper so the idea is uh, I mean whatever the image looks like the heat distribution initially we are trying to mimic like this so now how exactly it will be taking the values so this image has different values at different points so how exactly it is calculating the values so for that I have to show you this so there is an option scaling if you go here and make it manual you can see the formula is given by R plus G plus B by 3 that means at every point it has certain R value G value and B value and whatever value we are getting that is an average of this R G and B so based on your requirement you can modify this equation to get a particular value at any particular point now look into the image as a mathematical function so any point say this particular point this is point 6 comma say point 3 so this point so it has a particular rgb value if we go further again it has an rgb value so like that way at every point we got a value and that is the function so that we will be using as a heat function or temperature function not a heat function so for that what I do is this initial value if you see the name of this particular image is IM1 and if you plot it it is plotting IM1 okay now you can make another create plot to make another visualization and it will give you the component the name of the variable it is plotting and just for copying this one I have just plotted this so this is the variable im1 x comma y comp dot comp1 dot im1 dot x comma y so this is the formula this is the function so I will be using this here so let me just tell you so this is the function so the temperature will be initially distributed like IIT Guwahati logo so the value is between 0 to 1 and that's why it will be taking a value between 0 to 1 but doesn't matter let's say temperature is varying from 0 to 1 itself uh, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, multiply by a constant value also but doesn't matter because for the learning purpose only now what I do is so this is the initial temperature and let us do the meshing let, us, let me do a little bit finer mesh so that we can get good picture you can do extra fine as well so the picture will be better it will be, it will be mimicking IIT Guwahati logo we will be seeing that now I go to time dependent and let me solve for 0.1 second and I, I hope this will run so I click on compute yes I guess it has started running the simulation it will take some time but let us wait because it will not be taking much of time it's already over I guess yes now I go to time equal to zero so just think about it at time equal to zero it should give you something that looks like IIT Guwahati logo so let's plot it so you can see this is how the temperature is distributed it's like IIT Guwahati logo and slowly what happens if there is a temperature gradient it will start flowing because the material is copper this is a highly highly conducting material so it will not be like IIT Guwahati logo anymore it will be it will start destroying the logo see as you keep on progressing time your temperature because of the temperature gradient heat is being flown and that's why you get a different distribution once you proceed towards the time axis 
so let me reiterate the simulation with pioneer of success logo you might not be interested because you have already learned about it but let's see the pioneer of success logo as well this will be fun so instead of im1 let us choose im2 because this is im2 and yes i have chosen it let's run the simulation once again i have clicked on compute it will again take few seconds let us wait for that yeah the simulation is running as you can see it's almost done again when you go to zero it should be like pioneer of success logo yeah this is how the heat is distributed and once you proceed time the heat is flowing because there is a temperature gradient and according to the gradient heat starts flowing so if you run the simulation for longer duration then it will be like an uniform temperature distributed throughout the copper surface so in this particular video we learned about a particular topic which will be very much interesting for you and i hope this video helped you if it is please subscribe to my channel for more updates we are also developing videos for uh, various research topics engineering mathematics and those are will those videos will be very much exciting and that's why i request you to stay tuned today i'm stopping here thank you very much